but we are keeping an eye on this next weather maker. It's still way to the west of us, actually over a thousand miles away, but some of the moisture is starting to inch closer. Live triple Doppler radar tonight brought to you by Falso Service Experts is showing those dry conditions over the northeast, but the bigger picture shows how messy this system is, basically bringing snow up to Minnesota and then rain all the way down to Texas. And even if you see this red box here, that's where some severe weather could occur, basically in the middle section of the country. Now, since temperatures are just going to be well above freezing here in central New York, we're likely looking at a mainly rain event, but some places do risk seeing some freezing rain tomorrow, which I'll mention in just a moment. For right now, though, we are quiet and it's going to stay that way basically through tomorrow morning. And then once we get on into the afternoon, I would say between two and five, we'll start to see some rain develop. And also a little bit of freezing rain will be possible east and northeast of Onondaga County. Now that could lead to some ice accumulation basically for those areas that are going to be under this winter storm watch. So even up to a half of an inch of ice is going to be possible tomorrow night going into Monday. That certainly lead could lead to some slick spots on the roads early Monday morning. The winter storm watches are for those counties way to the east. You can see including Oneida, Otsego and Herkimer County, as well as some also in the Adirondacks. So future cast for the rest of tonight shows the partly to mostly cloudy sky. We remain dry going into Sunday morning. So maybe tomorrow morning, if you want to get that walk in with the dog, do so early in the day. That's when you'll have that dry period. But once we get closer to lunchtime, this is now between 12 and one o'clock. We're beginning to see that rain move in. Then it starts to overtake much of central New York between two and five. But where you're seeing the area of pink, that's suggesting some freezing rain is going to be possible. So again, those counties basically that were under that winter storm watch have the best chance at seeing some freezing rain. There it is more in the Adirondacks late Sunday night. It even sticks with that area into Monday for the rest of us, mainly going to be just a rain event on and off rain showers on Monday, starting to taper in the evening hours. But overall, it is a messy system, especially for those counties farther east or if you're traveling east with those areas that are under that shade of pink, you do have a better risk at encountering some ice. So a high temperature tomorrow near 41 with rain developing in the afternoon and early evening. Rain likely on Monday for most of us, 46. A few rain or snow showers possible for New Year's Eve and then on New Year's Day, slightly cooler with a chance for a few lake effect snow showers.